In this video, I want to show you how you can control which data labels to show in your Power BI charts. We're going to go through how you can show the highest or the lowest values in your report, but also how you can control and show your top end values quite easily. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's jump right into this demo here, right? So I have created a simple Power BI report here for demo purposes. I've created a simple chart, which is a default bar chart here, which shows the total sales uh, for a fictional company called Northwind. So Northwind is a fictional company that sells goods internationally. So they sell different types of grocery products or grocery goods, which uh, I can show you on the data model here at the moment. So we have different products that they sell we have information about those products and orders. So you have different orders here, how much they were ordered for and the quantity. And this is what we use for to calculate the total sales. And then we have the categories of the different products. We also have a calendar table for our time intelligence calculations. And I've already created a relationship across all of these tables. We won't go too deep into these because this isn't really the purpose of this demo. Um, just as another highlight here, I've also pre-created a measure somewhere. Here we go, it's called total sales, which is what we use in our measure, in our uh, charts here, which simply calculates the total sales by multiplying the unit price by the quantity. So this bar chart shows us the total sales by month for the Northwind uh, company. And if we want to see the actual numbers for these bars, we can either hover over them, which will give us uh, the total, or we can enable the data labels under the format settings here, which will give us the data labels for each of these bars. Now you'll see that some of the bars don't get data labels and that's because of the uh, label density option that is enabled or disabled here. So the, the lower this number is, the more space there are in between the labels. So 100%, it's still too small for it. But uh, I think that's fine for now. So we'll, we'll work with this at the moment. So let's say your users aren't really too interested in most of these numbers. They do want to see the actual number for a specific month, but only the ones that are relevant to them. So what they want to see when they look at this report is to just see what is the highest selling month for their records. So obviously we just want to show, um, we can see this is the highest selling month. We want to show just this number and everything else uh, will be blank. So how would we do that in Power BI? Well, first to make this uh, a little bit simpler, let's visualize this chart into a table. And just move this and make a table right next to it. Something like this. And uh, let's start by creating a new measure. So we'll name this one highest. And for the highest, we'll create a, uh, we'll use an iterator max x, all selected year month. So this is to give the context of what we want to get the max of. And then we'll say the expression is the total sales. So pretty easy. You know, what it will do is if we drag this into a table, you will see that it will get whatever the highest value is in our total sales. So 134, 135,000, which is the same as the highest grossing month that we have, April 1998. Now that we've determined that we basically, the next step from here is to output the color that we want the label to be. The reason is that we can conditionally format uh, values uh, within our bar charts based on our own calculations. So if you go to a chart here, we'll go to format your visual, under data labels, you will know that you can conditionally format elements 
if it has an FX icon next to it. There are lots of elements in Power BI that you can conditionally format, and this is just one of them. I have a video covering it in extensive detail, so go check it out if you haven't yet. So let's say we want to go back to this, uh, this measure that we've created, and we want to say if the value is the highest value, we want the color to be, uh, let's say green, otherwise it's black um, or red, just to show you how it looks like. So we're gonna create an if statement here. So if this value is equals to total sales, uh, which is whatever the context is at the moment, so we want this to be green, otherwise, it's red. So you'll see that everything is red except here, which is the April 1998 green. This means that if we now go back to our bar chart here, change the value, the property of our data label, go back to values here, the FX icon will set it based on the field value. We'll set it to the measure that we've created. And here you will see that the highest value, 135, is colored or the font color is green, whereas everything else is red. So now we've changed the colors themselves. It's just to show you how the change of colors look like using the conditional formatting. We're sort of almost there. And the trick from here is not something that I have done for a long time, but it's a really nifty one. So what I learned is that with the colors that you set. So you'll see that we wrote what colors we wanted in this uh, colors. Apart from writing the color name, you can also use hexadecimal codes to get the colors that you want, or you can use the RGBA values, which RGBA stands for red, green, blue. A is for alpha, which controls the visibility of, uh, of a color. So zero would be invisible. And this is what we would use to hide the rest of the data labels. So instead of red here, we're gonna change this to RGBA and we will just say zero, zero, zero. The last zero is what controls the alpha value. So now if we hit enter, you will see that everything else in this uh, data label disappears and the only one that is being shown is the highest value, 135K. Now, what about the smallest one? So you, I can rewrite all of this or you can combine this to show the highest or the lowest value. But the key point is that for you to show or hide, you just need to make sure that the color or the alpha is set to zero. So just use this property for the uh, font color. So to use this with the min, so we'll, I won't, create a new measure because it's a bit of a waste of time. So I'm just gonna recreate this one min x and then change the color. Instead of green, it'll be red. So you'll see that now it shows us the lowest value and it highlights it as red and hides everything else. So pretty easy, right? Lastly, what I want to show you is how you can show the top end values of your bar charts instead of showing the highest or the lowest. However, because now you know how to hide the labels, it's pretty much just a matter of knowing how to calculate the ranking, uh, which is actually pretty easy as well. So let me create a new measure here. And we'll just call this one top, top N like this. Uh, rank X, which is another iterator, we use all uh, year, month as our context, total sales, uh, order, we don't really care. And then the ties, oh well, the orders we would be descending and then ties we don't also care. So we'll just close that. And let's bring in to show you how this looks like. So hide the highest. So you'll see that now it's, it's ranking our total sales with the highest sales being on the top one. So if you sort this ascending order, you will see that April 1998 is the at the top of our list with March and then February. 
So what we need to do from here is we need to just simply create an if statement. So if we say that if the rank is, let's say top three, less than or equals to three, so it's in within the top, top three, then we want to show, uh, well, we'll just show as black. Otherwise, RGBA, zero, 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 something like this. So now, if we change the data label to use that measure that we've just created, top n, it will give us the top three values. If you wanted to change that into top five, you just change the number here, and it will give you the top five. Well, obviously, without the density affecting it, it will give you the top five values. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to control which data labels you're showing or hiding in your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so us to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.